You know guys, I think social media has us thinking a little crazy. I think there can sometimes be a lot of pressure to keep up. You know, uh, you know, your friend moves to a new city and starts a starts a new career. Uh, maybe they get into music. Maybe they, uh, you know, you know, they're doing something really cool, right? And then your other friend is having a baby, um, and then you're seeing you're seeing all of life's highlights all the time on social media, and you're thinking to yourself, you know, am I, am I even doing anything? And one of the things that happens, you know, when you're thinking about life's checkpoints, right, is buying a house. That's always something that. A lot of people talk about that's something obviously as a realtor that i talk about with people all the time and even though sometimes you can feel the pressure of life's checkpoints uh, especially from you know seeing everyone's highlights on social media you should still have an honest conversation with yourself about why you should or should not buy a house so today we're going to talk about why i think some of you guys should buy a house in the year 2023 and then for some of you guys why i think you should not buy a house coming up in the year 2023. The number one reason why I think you should buy a house in the year 2023 is that it's time. So what does it's time really mean? That can mean that you had a baby and you need another bedroom or you need a space for a nursery. That could also mean that, you know, maybe one of your kids is, is growing up and they, they're getting a car and you need another garage space or you need more space in the driveway. It could also mean that you got a, a you know, brand new job and you're really excited about it and you have to move to a new city and you're planning to be there long term. There's a whole myriad of reasons of why it could be time, right? Uh, but the important thing is that you know that it really is time. Buying a home is a really individual, personal decision, and ev everybody's story is different. Everyone's circumstances are different. Uh, so, so you really have to think about your life and, and what makes sense for you. The number two reason why I think you should buy a house next year is that you're financially prepared for it. Being financially prepared means that you have enough money for your closing cost, for your down payment, and any kind of other expenses that you're expecting there with the property. Um, you know, that can mean replacing a faulty toilet, that can mean taking a treat out in the backyard that you don't really like. And it also means that you want to have enough money after you pay your mortgage to be able to save for vacation and for your kid's college and, and all the things that you that you really want in life. We don't want to buy something that's going to end up making us house poor, meaning that you're spending you know over half of your income on your mortgage so you can't save for groceries or, or anything else that's really important and dire to you. And if you want to have a conversation about your finances to see where you stand, because I know it can be a little bit confusing, just let me know and I can put you in touch with a great lender in our area who can help you with your credit, see where your income stands and let you know what you can uh, you know, afford in a, um, in a healthy manner. And the number three reason you should buy a house in 2023 is that you found the right place. Guys, there are so, so many people in the last couple of years that, that settled on their properties that they bought. They bought something in in the pandemic or you know 2020 2021 that they weren't able to get inspected um, and they paid you know 50k over asking for it and then they moved in and they found out that they had all these problems um, and that that things were just not what they thought they were and i know a lot of people are wishing we could go back there because there were three percent interest rates back then um, but i promise you there were some problems too there's there's pros and cons to every market so the thing I hope for you in 2023 is that you take your time, you make a needs and wants list and you stick to it and then you buy the right property for you and your family. And now let's talk about three reasons why I think you should not buy a home in 2023. The number one reason why I think you should not buy a home in 2023 is that you're trying to time the market. Guys, a lot of people tried to time the market in 2020 and then they bought homes with a 2.8% interest rate that had a lot of problems. Um, there were a lot of things wrong with these homes. They didn't get them inspected because they couldn't at the time. Um, and then a lot of people are, are stuck settling in a house they don't like. And then a lot of people who sat on the sidelines for that point in time and, and said, I'm gonna wait for home prices to come down are now, are now still waiting three years later and they haven't gained equity in their home. They haven't paid down a mortgage um, and they're still paying 100% interest to their landlord. The really short answer here is that timing the market doesn't work. I mean, there's a there's a lot of guys on Wall Street who are consistently losing to monkeys and fish on, on outperforming the market. I know we all like to think that we're smarter than everybody else and we're gonna find the exact right moment where it makes the most financial sense to buy a house. Um, but the truth is time in the market always beats timing the market and investing steadily long-term is always the way to go. So don't worry about all that stuff and just buy a house when it makes sense for your family. The number two reason why you should not buy a home in 2023 is that you have to keep moving. 
I'm talking about anyone who who tends to move every two or three years for for a new job or maybe a new placement within their job and they're moving all over the place and um, and life is gonna have to stay mobile for you. There's something in real estate we call a break even point and that that's the point where um, the money you put into your property, which would be your closing cost and your down payment and everything that went in to purchasing your property has now been um, net zeroed out, has been paid off by you owning the property. And typically that break even point is somewhere in the neighborhood of five to seven years for most people. So if you're not gonna own a home for more than five years, in, in almost every case, it doesn't make a lot of financial sense. And finally, guys, the number three reason why I think you should not buy a home in 2023 is that you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. You know, it's that age old saying we talked about in the beginning of the video where you're just trying to keep up with life's checkpoints. You think you should buy a house and that's kind of why you want to buy a house. Um, and the reality is, if, if you feel if you feel a pull, if you feel like there's some reason why you shouldn't be buying a house at this moment, it's probably true. You might not be financially ready or maybe it doesn't make sense for your family to upgrade at this moment, but it might in like two years or, uh, you know, maybe maybe your home that you live in right now is perfectly fine. You're content. Your payment is affordable. Whatever it is, don't don't feel pressured, um, you know, by by realtors or by lenders or by family or whoever it is culturally that's kind of pushing you in that direction. I would say wait. And in the meantime, you can invest that extra money in like an S&P index, or you could buy rental properties that are actually investment vehicles as opposed to like a primary residency. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with that money um, that definitely makes financial sense as well. But don't just try to keep up with other people unless it really makes sense on an individual level for you. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, please leave me a like uh, there on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're seeing this video. Um, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would help me out a lot. Um, if you need anything, if you want to talk about purchasing a home in 2023, you can call me right here. Um, my number will be on the screen. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.